Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Spirit Halloween, one of my favorite places to go this time of year. And uh, starting off with the animatronics, we had some creepy ones this year. I didn't include the in-store audio just because they had some pretty loud music playing and this video would get copyright striked. So anyway, uh, they weren't saying much. Your typical scary guy nonsense, okay? So we had a giant bone guy here. Uh, I tried to show the prices, $2.99 uh, for these, and then this creepy radioactive clown thing. I don't know if the hands were missing on this, but it was pretty pricey as well, $3.49. Let me know if you uh, set these up, because these are pretty over the top. Uh, anyway, ignore what I'm about to do, but this is a <laughs> this is a giant monkey with symbols. Listen, when am I going to get the opportunity to do this, okay? So I had to go for it. Uh, these were really cool though. I like this one especially and uh, I want to see these all in like a bigger display That would be cool. And then some killer clown stuff. We're gonna see some more killer clown stuff later But this was really cool super creepy though. The proportions are all weird didn't have a price on those uh, Heading over to the merch areas. We have some some shirts some Halloween shirts some some nice uh, variety there We have Chucky Anything you really wanted uh, Every like every Halloween uh, idea you can you can find is in there. Uh, we also have some shirts. These shirts I will say aren't uh, aren't the best quality, but they're super festive, and you can't really get stuff like this. I feel um, they are pricey though, thirty dollars for like a light flimsy little shirt. Uh, but we had, we do have some cool Halloween jerseys and things like that. And then I love these flannels. The flannels are nice. Pentagram uh, shirt there, but the flannels are nice. Little spider in the front, pumpkin in the back. I believe it was $34.99. No, $29.99. Okay. Uh, I'm going to showcase pretty much all of the uh, IPs that they have uh, stuff for. So, of course, the Friday the 13th stuff. Nice Camp Crystal Lake hat. Every, every property had a bunch of merch. Uh, socks, masks, accessories, jerseys, anything that you could uh, imagine here. But I love Friday the 13th so much. Uh, some more Halloween, some Halloween stuff, masks, socks, pins, a bunch of stuff. And then a ton of trick or treat stuff, including this awesome crossbody bag. And this was super high quality too. And, uh, very, very cool. Let me know your favorite scary movie in the chat. Uh, definitely, uh, let me know that. So we had the lollipop earrings. They had lollipop necklace sets. If you are a trick or treat fan, Head over to Spirit, because you'll probably find what you're looking for. Uh, they did have these costumes. So in this video, I don't showcase a lot of costumes. I'm mu I'm more into the decorations and like accessory type stuff. But they did have all of your classic costumes, you know, your stereotypical costumes, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, we have some masks for trick or treat, classic hats, and uh, some really cool, again, some flannels here. Really, really, okay, this was $34.99. Yeah, but these were super nice. Those were actually really good quality. And then uh, we have some hats here. We have some masks to the left of that. Uh, and then we do have some patches, pin sets. I really like those. They had that for every property. And then the famous chocolate bar. Uh, heading over to Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice! Love this one. Uh, they had pretty much everything. The Adam mask there. Really nice mask up top there. And check this out. We have a sandworm cane. This was dope. I've never seen things like this. Uh, so really cool. Really high quality too. We have some makeup sets for Beetlejuice. The hats. And then look at this handbook. This was a bag that didn't open. Which was super weird. It was like a fake purse or whatever. Uh, next we have the Killer Clowns merch. And I love this aesthetic so much. It's like neon... Uh, very, very creepy. And then again, a good look at these pin and patch sets. I didn't get these, but these are really, really nice. I believe they were $10 and they come with a few pins and, and uh, patches and stuff. Uh, some Killer Clown shirts. I got the black one last year. That new purple one is pretty cool. And then check out this Killer Clown's ray gun. It was so cool. It made, it made sounds. It spun. Really, really cool. Especially if that's what you're going for for Halloween this year. Um, next we have the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. This is like some of my favorites. Um, really, really cool stuff here. We have jewelry, 
pretty much anything that you can think of. We have some Nightmare Before Christmas nails. By the way, my girlfriend is filming this. I don't have fabulous nails like that, okay? <laughs> uh, we have some window clings and some really cool nightmare stuff that I've never seen before. Listen, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff is plentiful in stores, but a lot of this stuff I've never seen before, including these beanies. So if you want your nightmare fix, head over to Spirit. Uh, we do have some uh, socks, makeups. Look at this. That bag is pretty amazing. Look at Jack in there. And then with the, with the roses surrounding it, that is cool. That's a cool bag. And it's like made to look like a tombstone. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Uh, yeah, tons of socks, beanies. I really like the Oogie one. And uh, anything with Oogie is, is amazing. Uh, next up, we had a lot of cool signs here. The Camp Crystal Lake sign, which is big and, and high quality. We have the Overlook Hotel, the Shining sign, Halloween signs, Elm Street signs. Like I said, all of the famous properties are well represented at Spirit this year. And these signs are pretty amazing. The Killer Clown one. Uh, look at the uh, Nightmare Wreath. For I would hang that up for Christmas. That is so amazing. We have the Halloween Town sign. We have some tumblers, mugs. Uh, we have some plushies down on the bottom. I feel like you don't really see a lot of Nightmare plushies, but I absolutely love the wreath. Let me know if you love the wreath. I would Again, I would put that up during Christmas time. That's so versatile too. Uh, welcome to Halloween Town. The very cool signs here. If you're... <laughs> Literally, if you're going to go to Spirit, get a sign because they're so cool. Uh, and then we have some mugs here. This one, so cool. I've never seen the professor as the mug. And then some really cool, sturdy, big uh, mugs. And basically, this was for all properties, like I've been saying. Some really cool tumblers. And check out that mug with Zero spinning around. Super cool. They, they had some really cool stuff. I mean, Spirit's always had this kind of stuff. But I feel like especially this year, they've had a ton of stuff. Really cool stuff. Um, and then, like I said, the plushies before. You don't really see a ton of these. And then some more signs. Uh, the Sanderson Sisters, Sanderson Witch Museum. I like Hocus Pocus. Uh, not my favorite, but I definitely do like Hocus Pocus. But they, they brought the merch, though. That's all that matters. We have the little trays. They had trays for pretty much all the properties here. I put a spell on you. I really like that one. And that was $9.99. Again, yeah, they had all those like trays for uh, for each property. Some really cool, uh, look at this. Look at this cool, I don't even know what you would call it, but it's oddly shaped cup. I love it. Uh, we got some more mugs here, some chalices, some uh, some snow globes. And uh, really cool stuff. The Haunted Mansion stuff always kills it. Um, check out this soup mug. Very cool. Uh, we have some more clings here. We have the Hocus Pocus clings. And then we have the Haunted Mansion clings. Yeah, the Haunted Mansion stuff. Check out these signs. We got little shot glasses up there. We have the, uh, the snow globes, the little lantern on the bottom. Very, very cool. I've seen this mug. I think they had this mug last year, $10. Listen, you're going to pay up. If you were at Disney, you'd pay like 40, right? <laughs> but the, the clings are cool. Check it out. They're all like same colors and stuff like that. Tomb, sweet tomb. And uh, really just great selection this year. We have some, some fleece blankets up top. I don't know if you guys saw those. Um, and then again, uh, we have the trays, but the, the Haunted Mansion, this tray right here was not like the tin tray that we just saw. This was heavy, super high quality, like a display plate. That one was really cool. Um, and then check out these little candle holders. $34.99 now, but they did have some weight to it. The Beetlejuice stuff slaps. Look at that neon sign right there. Beetlejuice. Amazing. Uh, again, more tumblers. Pretty same, like... I like how the items were consistent. Like if you wanted a mug, you could get it in whatever property you wanted. So that was cool. Uh, love this ghost, ghost tumbler. Is that what you call it? Tumbler. I like that one. Uh, no feet there. And then the Beetlejuice tumbler. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, we got some more of the mugs, the recently deceased, the handbook mugs. Super cool. I don't think those were there last year. 
And then some of the bigger mugs, which were cool as well. Uh, we got the plushies. We got we got everything here. Uh, this this spirit, by the way, was fully stocked, which I was surprised because we went the day it opened, and it was completely stocked. So that was good. So if you're if you're going to if you're kind of worried that like your spirit won't have like everything, they should. It should be fully stocked, which is always good. Uh, but yeah, I love the Beetlejuice stuff again. Like we've had the clings, the the garland. I don't know if you guys saw that, and um, yeah, some of these little figurines and stuff like that. I really like these. These are super cute. You can put some candy in there or something, you know. Uh, love the candle holders and the little tumblers. Again, these trays. Every property had one. The Beetlejuice one was super cool. I like the uh, the purple and black stripes, and then a ton of these fleece blankets with every property. We have Scream. We have trick or treat. We have it. Get listen. I don't know what's wrong with you guys, but I'm not wearing a clown blanket. I'm not using a clown blanket. Okay. Uh, these were super cool. The uh, they're they're Halloween figures, but they they light up. And I've been wanting to get this, but it's like a little bit too pricey. But it's super cool, especially me. I love Halloween. Forty four ninety nine. I just feel like it's a little too much for that. But I really like these. Uh, next, we have the solar bobbleheads. Those are super cute. Freddy Krueger, Jason, Pennywise. I love those. Uh, and then a lot of It stuff up there. And then the killer clown stuff. These actually lit up. Uh, like the base would light up and kind of, you know, flashlights and things like that. The killer clown stuff is really, really good this year. And uh, we just have more of these figurines. More It stuff. I don't know. Do you guys like It? Would you ever use that mug right there? $14.99, I would never use that mug. Hell no. Uh, tons of mugs. There was actually a ton near the register as well. Um, and then we have a little, little candy dishes here. Very cute. Uh, they did have some general Halloween decorations as well towards the back. Uh, like we have these pathway markers and things like that. I live in a third floor apartment. I don't decorate outside, but you know, if you do, there's options for that. So yeah, a lot of these just, they had a giant skeleton bone section, full skeletons, uh, skeleton birds, other creatures, weird stuff. And then towards the back, we also had some inflatables. If you guys are into uh, Halloween inflatables, we have tombstones. Check out this inflatable hearse, super cool. I've never seen something like that. And then yes, spooky arch. Okay. Jack-o-lantern archway. That is cool though. I love that. And then we have the clown archway too. We have some gargoyles, haunted trees, really good selection of inflatables, which I don't remember spirit having. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember them having that. Um, and then this is near the register. They have a ton of decals. Again, every property you want. Uh, which is super cool. You have, you know, your Pennywise ones, you have your Beetlejuice ones, Nightmare. And um, they had clings, stickers, decals for pretty much anything. I feel like the, uh, near the, near the cash register, they had like the most stuff. There was like, there was like this giant winding line where you can get all of this stuff. Check out that Halloween giant cling. Oh my God. So like you think you're not buying anything and then you get to the cash register and you end up picking up everything and your total is like $800. Anyway, uh, these were super cool. Check out these vintagey looking lunch boxes. The, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one, super cool. And this is where we're sort of ending the video off. They had golden girls. They had like everything here. Very, very cool. The good guys one. Oh my God. Uh, the killer clowns lunch box. I should have got, I kind of want to go back and get it just because all the colors, like check that out. Spirit Halloween guys, definitely go. They have amazing stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe if you're a Halloween fan like me and I will see you in the next one. Peace out everyone.